Hey everyone and welcome back and today we're going to be sewing so yeah I'm really excited and first of all we are going to be doing a pillow so let's get started. So um, we have some stuffing we'll need, we'll, we'll need some scissors, oh, that's optional if you need to cut out your fabric, make sure they're the same size and you'll need two pieces of fabric. So I have a little horse fabric and then yeah the like green for the back. And so what you want to do is pin them where the right side, the right faces are laying against each other and then pin them along the sides. And then you just start sewing. So pillows are really easy, but you need to leave a little gap so you can flip it inside out. The flipping really helps it to where you don't see the seams and where, you know, it's a lot nicer and you'll see all the threads sticking out. So that's why you put the right side faces together. So whenever you flip it, you see like the side that's like the bold side. So I accidentally didn't leave a hole whenever I did this, so I did have to rip that out with my seam ripper, um, just so I could have enough space, you know, to flip it, and then I could put stuffing in it. So yeah, um, whenever once you get to a pin, you just take it out. Sometimes I get I sew too close to the pin, so I have to stick my needle in the fabric and then yeah, lift up the foot. So yeah, whenever you turn, you stick the needle in the fabric, you lift up the you turn and then li lift up the foot, turn and then put the foot back down. So, I haven't been sewing super duper long. I've been doing it for a few years, but I, I still have trouble. Like, a lot of trouble. I'm definitely not good. I don't do it all the time, but, you know. So, yeah, with turns, yeah, there you go. And then, take that out, put it back. <laughs> the turns are kind of hard to get accurate. I try to keep the foot right along the edge of the fabric, which, or right along the um, red part of the fabric. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of hard, and you can see I got kind of squiggly there. But this is so cute, and I really like it, and we, um, and yeah, it just, I, you know, I love horses, and I love decorations. So, yeah, I had to rip a hole, um, through the fabric, through the fabric, because I accidentally did not, you know, leave a hole. So what you do is you, like, you stuff the insides out to where you'll see the right side. See how this side looks a lot bolder? So yeah, and then you had to poke through the um, corners a little bit, see, like that, <laughs> yeah, and you do it with all of them just so they kind of stick out more. And I thought it looked absolutely amazing. My grandma actually gave me this fabric, and um, she made one too, and I had no clue that she even made it. Um, that's how good it looked. So yeah, I think it looks really nice. You can see the pretty horses on the front. And then I just started stuffing stuffing in there, which um, I didn't put all that on camera because it would have taken a while. I literally used my entire bag of polyfill um, to, like, get it all in there. But, uh, yeah, so it was a kind of a small bag. But, yeah, so there we go. It's all in. And now what you do with this part, you usually get a needle and thread. You don't actually use a sewing machine to sew up the last bit. Um, but I, I, had a, I didn't have quite enough stuffing, so I had enough space to do that. Um, which I just thought would look nicer anyways. So, yeah, uh, then I just put a few pins there, too, just so it would stay nice. So there we go. There's the pillow. Also, sorry for the background. I'm in kind of like my dungeon storage type place. But yeah, and also there's tons of cotton or polyfill all over it. It kind of got stuck to it. So you will have to maybe like lint roll it off or something. But now for our next project, we are going to be making chicken pin cushions. So my uh, sewing teacher made that. Um, so, and she gave it to me, which was, I love it and it's so sweet. So um, what you'll need are two pins. You will need um, a felt beak and a felt comb. You can just cut them out out of felt. And then you'll need two pieces of fabric. You can do the same fabric. You can do whatever fabrics you want, as long as there are two the same fabric. <coughs> I'm sorry, my voice started going crazy there. So you first take one square and just lay it down. I my fabric got wet, so yeah. And you lay the you lay them upside down against the edge. And you want it pretty close to the corner, but definitely not like on the corner. So yeah, the comb you lay right, sorry, you can't see with my hands, but you lay it right on top. Um, and then you do the beak right next to it, like, but on the left side. So that'll how, that's how it's gonna look. And then you lay the other square on top of it, and then you will pin it down. Cause again, you'll be flipping this inside out. So really they will be showing up, but yeah, this is what you'll have to do. Then you pin, all you have to do is pin the, uh, the felt. So then they would stay in. So you just pin the beak and the comb. And I was kind of just demonstrating what I was going to do there. So now what you do is you only sew, you sew one, you sew, sorry, sorry. You sew two sides and then you'll see here. You only sew a little bit of, hold on, you'll see. 
right here you only sew a little bit and then back stitch a little bit because you want to leave an opening so again you can flip it inside out and then you'll see um, and also leave the complete bottom open so here you just do you just sew a little bit to where you're kind of making a hole where you did it right there which I made my hole too small but yeah so you can't really see what it looks like there but yeah that's how it'll look like and now with the big opening that you left open on the bottom you will leave the entire bottom open you're going to get the seams together which is like the part that you got sewed and then you pin it right there and then you just sew the bottom so this will kind of make a triangle you know where the chicken does like isn't doesn't have like a circle or flat square but you know it's more of a triangle and so um yeah that's how it'll look there it'll kind of look kind of like a weird triangle dress type thing <laughs> and yeah so the, now it's time to flip it inside out. I had to use my seam ripper because the hole was not big enough. So yeah, you just flip it inside out, and then there's your chicken. Again, you have to make sure you poke through, poke through all the corners, which I accidentally I, I missed one, which you'll see. It's just kind of flat there. But yeah, then I um yeah I kind of straightened it out a little bit more. Um, later, I had to kind of pop the comb up a little more. Had to like pull it. And then I also, um, I'm going to trim the beak a little bit, because as you can see, it is very long, um, for at least what I did. I did a 4x4 four four square, so if you want the same, if you want the uh, same kind of uh, size as mine, then you can do 4x4. Four four. If you want it smaller, do 3x3. Three three. So yeah, that's how I did it. Alrighty guys, that's all I'm going to be doing today. Sorry if you hear the AC in the background, it's very loud. Um, but here, so... This is my little chicken. Also, sorry it was so dark down here. I'll try. I try to fix it in the editing, but I don't know how it'll look. But yeah. So um, I did a little chicken, and I added little pins as eyes. <laughs> there you go. So I got a little chicken, and you can add rice in it, which I probably already said in the over voice thing. Um, but I did up here. There's like no rice, but like down here. So yeah, the rice is just kind of cushiony because if you put. Cause if you put um if you put cotton in there then you know it'll just go right through it so rice is a little better and then the pillow which i love this so much my grandma gave me this amazing fabric both of those sides actually it still has cotton on it from stuffing it i didn't have enough stuffing actually it was polyfill i think that stuff is real soft and i want to use it just for decoration but it's so soft i might actually sleep on it so this is so amazing and look how pretty the horses are on that so, um, yeah, sorry, I don't have my mic either. That's probably why you can't hear me very well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Also, sorry for the background, too. It's, I'm in kind of like my dungeon, my basically my storage area. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry it's posted a little late today, um, but I will try to post tomorrow and on Saturday. And so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!